412 kilometers uh, per hour at stop speed. Maybe we'll get there. Nope. 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 Hello my fellow petrol heads and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be driving the Remax C2 from 2020. So this car is basically the world's most powerful hypercar and it's electric, unfortunately, so sorry for that. But still quite an interesting car. So this has four electric motors, one for each wheel. Um, it has quite impressive figures also, 0 to uh, 100 km per hour in 1.97 seconds. 412 kilometers uh, per hour at top speed. Maybe we'll get there, I don't know, we'll see during this video. So this car makes 1000 and almost 900 brake horsepower, so that's absolutely huge. Uh, it makes also 2300 newton, newton meters of torque, so that's also unbelievable. Uh, it weighs a little bit less than two tons, so that's quite heavy actually. We'll need to be uh, really careful on breaking points and uh, uh, in the corners. Hopefully that's all wheel drive, so uh, it will be of a great help uh, uh, to drive it. And it has only a two-speed transmission, which sounds quite uh, strange, but actually this is not. With the uh, electric engines, the, the torque is uh, uh, constant all along the RPMs. So um, this car has a, has a huge power of acceleration even with uh, only two gears. Okay, so there we go. Uh, second gear already. A lot of wheel spinning at the beginning as you saw. So the, because, that's because obviously of, uh, of the huge torque uh, this car has. Um, maybe I'll just uh, stay in, uh, in second gear. I will probably uh, last uh, a few uh, seconds uh, here and there, but uh, definitely it will help me to uh, focus on my driving. So as you can see, this car is, uh, is quite heavy and, uh, and feels quite heavy uh, too. Um, really difficult to know where the uh, good braking point is with this, but uh, at the moment uh, it feels uh, quite easy to drive anyway, uh, the four-wheel four drive uh, is, uh, is really uh, helping a lot. The car also feels uh, quite uh, well balanced. So it goes uh, a little bit wide at the exit of the corners. Uh, I, I need to be extremely careful on, uh, uh, when I, uh, I uh, put the foot down on the, on the gas pedals, obviously. So this car is definitely flying around on the bumps. We'll need to be uh, also extremely really careful in the cost sector. Well, a, a huge, uh, huge jump right here. Also, I'll test uh, the upgraded version as well in this video, so be sure to check uh, the entire video in order to see the upgraded version. And already coming up to the first uh, big breaking point. Yeah, so the, this car is, uh, is heavy as you understood and uh, quite difficult uh, on, the, on the breaking points. Uh, braking is not so great. I hope it, I hope it will improve. improve. <laughs> sorry with the uh, race compound tires but uh, at the moment this is not that good and coming up to the big straight hopefully we will uh, get to uh, 400 uh, kilometers per hour let's see oh yeah we, we did it and uh, it was really easy easy so uh, this car is uh, really impressive definitely and coming up to the uh, cost sector, so uh, as always I won't be too optimistic uh, regarding this car in this sector. 
uh, it has a clear tendency to uh, just uh, fly uh, all around uh, each time it, uh, it goes on a bump. So let's be extremely careful. Maybe uh, if my channel, if my channel uh, has uh, some success, maybe I I'll make a t-shirt uh, with a uh, return uh, on it. Uh, let's not be too optimistic in the cost sector <laughs> because I think that's uh, what uh, I say in, uh, in each of my videos. So as you can see, uh, when the speed is uh, high enough, uh, the spoiler comes off. But um, I don't feel like uh, this is really uh, helping uh, this car to, to stay on the road. As you can see, uh, uh, that's uh, really jumping all around uh, and quite difficult to drive whenever, uh, whenever, it, begins to, uh, uh, whenever it begins to take off from, uh, from the ground. And coming up to the last few corners. So for the moment, uh, we are uh, at uh, nine uh, minutes uh, exactly. So obviously, it will be a great lap. Let's uh, let's see what the uh, final uh, lap time will be. Yes. So best lap nine thirteen. So. Uh, Absolutely, uh, absolutely great, uh, great lap. So now I, I will be testing the upgraded version. So uh, let's see uh, how uh, how it looks. So here we are with the uh, upgraded version of the Remac uh, Concept uh, Two. Uh, so uh, unfortunately, this car comes uh, in its stock version with the uh, rest tires uh, already on. So there's no improvement regarding this. Uh, Otherwise, a uh, great improvement is regarding the weight. So the weight uh, just uh, uh, lost uh, 350 kilograms, so it will uh, help a lot. Also, as you can see, this car has uh, some uh, aerodynamics. Uh, so that, that will definitely be a, a great help, uh, especially in the, in the bumpy uh, parts of the track. But um, apart from this, uh, not much to say. Uh, new race uh, uh, dampers and uh, springs, so that's uh, that's also great. Maybe the car will be a little bit uh, stiffer, but we'll see this in a minute. Okay, there we go. Already in second gear. So the car feels a little bit stiffer. Also, I can feel uh, that uh, it is uh, a lot uh, lighter than before. So, unfortunately, uh, that's uh, really uh, as difficult to uh, drive on the bumps as it was. Not much uh, of an improvement right here. Still the same, uh, the same power, so almost uh, 2,000 brake horsepower, which is uh, highly sufficient. I don't feel like the uh, new uh, aerodynamics have, a, have a, such a great influence on the car, unfortunately. More than uh, 350 kilometers per hour right here, so. Uh, so uh, maybe, I don't know if we will uh, attain the uh, same top speed as we did uh, uh, before because of the uh, aerodynamics, but definitely uh, they don't have such a uh, high influence, so uh, hopefully we will. Okay, coming up to uh, the big breaking point. So this car is uh, definitely easier to brake. Uh, I think that the main influence here is uh, the uh, weight, which is uh, a lot, uh, a lot uh, under what it was uh, when the car was in its uh, stock version, and in the big straight again, 400 kilometers per hour easy, and coming up to the cost sector. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, quite, quite jumpy, again.
but still quite manageable even with the uh, huge power and torque So as you get, as you can see, this car is uh, literally flying around, even with the uh, aerodynamics. And coming up to the last few corners. Little bit of understeer. Trying to get the apex. Careful on the breaking points. And back on the gas. And there we go. So, best lap in uh, 8.43, uh, almost 44. So, a uh, great improvement. Uh, I think. Uh, we almost uh, gain uh, 30 seconds uh, uh, compared to the car in its stock version, so uh, great. Uh, really great car to drive, really interesting, uh, extremely fast, quite, uh, quite wild on the, on the bumps, but still uh, I think one of the fastest cars in the game. So guys, if you like my video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and uh, see you later for another lap around the Goliath. Bye bye guys.